welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another wardrobe series instalment with none other than Estelle Hello! Hello! Oh, I finally roped you in. I wanted to do it from the moment I heard I know. the series. I was just like, oh, when can I? It was like asking you out on the first date. I yeah. was like, when can I ask her? But when, when you did, I was like, yes! Yes! I was really happy time. because I love your style. I mean, there's a lot of things I love about you, but your style. Really? Yeah. I always like considered myself as someone who doesn't really have a style. Really? So I always look at you and I think, I don't know, you've got that Scandi cool thing going on, but yeah. I mean, you're like, yeah. She, I mean, she slipped me a 20. She's told me all the words, like, key buzzwords, <laughs> like, slip, slip in Scandi, slip in this. But, no, you've got, I think you've got a really strong sense of personal style. Oh, thanks. I mean, I feel like everyone thinks that about themselves. I don't think I've got a good personal style. You, have, like you a, have a style, like, I look I, at something and I know it's live. Really? Yeah. Even this morning, I was like, what we're gonna do, what we're gonna wear, like, I've gotta live up to the cool. Yeah. And I did have a leather jacket on and some pointy boots. I was prepping my Estee look. That is my look. Today I'm going to be talking to Estee about all her favourite wardrobe items, favorite brands, how you shop, all those fun things. Yeah. Because we've had a rummage through her wardrobe and oh Nelly, it's a treat. Is yeah, it? we were saying like how I look at my wardrobe and I'm like it's nothing really special, just like use the clothes I have. But when it's someone else's wardrobe, like when it I really go to helps. someone else's house, it's like First things first, I want to talk to you about your latest purchases. I want a mini haul here. I want to see okay. the things that have been floating your boat, tickling well, your pickle. Tickling my pickle, I love pickles. <laughs> so one thing I will say is, I'm going through a phase of getting rid of shiz. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I have I have a complete excess of not only beauty products, but also clothes. Yeah. And it's messing with me. Yeah. You know, I, I'm not... I'm never going to be a minimalist. But you need to do a Marie Kondo. Yeah, I <laughs> totally Marie Kondo, and I still could do more, but I've done the most I can. Marie, but you've not Kondo. <laughs> exactly. Okay, where do you go? So, I haven't really, I've been really specific about the things I have been buying, because I don't want it to end up like, I've bought 20 more things in here, we're going to get rid of more. Yeah, are you doing like a one-in, one-out system? I know no. I think that's too much commitment. I can't keep track of that. Yeah, you do like a 10-out, one-in, and then sometimes 10-in, yeah. none-out. Exactly. So this is a new sweater, brand new, haven't even worn it, still has the tag on it, oh, um, by so a brand sweet. called Shinty and Parker. Have you heard of them? I have heard of them. I've seen that they did a collection. It was a Muffy or Miffy? Muffy. Yeah. <laughs> Miffy. <laughs> like, what is it? I think it's Miffy. Yeah, the bunny. Yeah. Not yeah. Muffy. <laughs> And this is very, very cool. Yes, yeah, so I am a very proud Leo. Yeah. And when I was looking at the website, I was like, oh my god, is... like, you know, signs, I, I need like to get it. mine. And I was hoping, like, please don't let Leo be ugly. Yeah, <laughs> don't, have, don't have a dodgy constellation, yeah. whatever you do. And didn't let you down, did it? it? No, because I love Leo. beige and I love yellow. Is and... that the plow? It looks like the plow. I don't know, but I feel like I should know. I mean, I only know literally that one constellation. Oh, wow. Because it's like the only... The I only hope that is. Person. These. These um, are very, very cool. I I like this trend, you know, yeah, the mule, the mule thing, and I like velvet. And I've been, I have been thinking, and I'm actually glad we can talk about this because yeah. I want to up my shoe game. Ooh. That's something that I'm, I don't have a lock on. I'm a bit know. lazy with shoes. I yeah. think you can get quite complacent. Like I, I've had like a trainer phase recently, mm. and then I know you're very f fond of trainers yes. also, but I think it's easy to be like, yeah, I'll just stick a pair of trainers on, whereas... Every day. Or black boots. Yeah. And there's kind of like no give in between, uh -huh. whereas... Shoes could change an outfit. They totally can, and I, I just didn't know that. Yeah. You know, so I'm trying to do that. Anyway, These are lovely. I thought this would be cute for, you know, spring and summer. I love the fact they've got this little, like, elasticated thing there. In yeah. Case you've got, they've got a wider girth on your foot. <laughs> I don't say I have wide feet, but I have long, skinny feet. Yeah, I wish I had long, skinny feet. Felt what feet. do you have? Wide feet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, this would be perfect for you. Yeah. Was there anything else? I oh, like... my backpack. Oh. Oh, there was something else. There was something. This is definitely worth a chat. An acne backpack. Oh, can, can I hold it? Yeah. And I have a lot to say about this because I feel like acne bags never get credit. No. No. Actually, do you know what? I've, I've never seen an acne bag, I don't think. I know. I've seen boots, leather jackets. Yeah, but yeah, what about yeah. their leather accessories? Their nice. bags, some can be weird. This is so cool. Yeah. And I, I first saw this backpack. I think FK Twigs has it in orange, I think. She does. Yeah. And um, <laughs> she definitely does. And I was like, ooh, that's a cool acne bag. Because I feel like, okay, if you're going to spend a lot of money on a bag, right, you're going to get Prada or YSL or yeah. whatever, you know, people get. Yep. 
But I'm really of this phase of I want to have things that not everyone has. I'm very much the same with bags. Yeah. Like I think when I got my Mansa Garrel bag, the circle pink one, I was like, I wanted something that I haven't seen everywhere. Yeah. Like I wanted something I think it's a piece of art without sounding it like is. a pretentious dick. But like, I have a question about that bag. Yeah. Is it like can you fit stuff yeah, in it? Yeah, you can. Oh. I can fit a book in it. I mean, I couldn't fit my camera in it, but I could fit a book. I love that bag. It's really cool. Yeah, I love it. But I think I know, I know what you mean. Like you want to get something that's actually like. A real, it could change an outfit up. Yeah. You could have a really shit outfit day, and yeah. then you pull this bad boy out, and you're like, I'm chic. I've had so many compliments as well, That's but amazing. I I bought this at the Acme in Japan, and they when I went to the store, I was buying something else. I was buying like a t-shirt or something, and I was looking at this bag, and the guy was like, I think you need to leave with this bag, and I was like, yes, gorgeous Japanese man, yeah. I do. And he emailed me after. Like the week after customer service. Yeah, and he was like, I hope you're enjoying your bag. And you're like, I might just. Yeah. And now you have his email address. <laughs> exactly. And the last new thing that I got is also from Japan. I, okay, if you haven't didn't know, I just got back from Japan. I'm I mean, still really? riding that way. Did you, did you go? I went and it has become my life. Oh my <laughs> so god. I haven't heard. <laughs> Tell me. I'm joking. <laughs> it was, it, I like hearing about it. I'm just um, Okay, <laughs> whatever. So I bought this wallet and it's a brand called Porter. Ooh. And it's a Japanese brand, uh, and I like. I'm gonna show you this. I have an issue with coins. Yeah, I yeah. But this, <gasps> and I like this pattern. Is amazing. You would never think all of that could. I I really like it. That's that is innovative. I think so it's like, overstuffed, and I usually just know. carry a card holder. That's amazing. But I just feel like with age, I need more stuff with me. So moving on, I want to know about your most loved items. The things you would save in a house fire. Are there any pieces in your wardrobe that you feel? Particularly sentimental for because I think sometimes those are the pieces that are the stand up pieces in a wardrobe. Totally. It's all good about talking about the new, but I want to know the real okay. the real gems. We've all seen this sweater. I knew that that was gonna have to make an entrance. This yeah. fluffy We all know um, I'm about to plug my book right now. We have a Reddit, it's called Bloom. Check it out. But this is the sweater I wore on the cover of that book, and I'm gonna tell a little story. Yeah. So basically I had when I went out and I bought like cool outfits that yeah. I was like thinking to wear on the cover of the book and I got all this stuff and I wore a pair of boyfriend jeans and this sweater over to the shoot yeah and then we were doing some like test shots just in this outfit and that actually was the cover and yeah. it's a nice little message to me because it's like you don't have to go out and try to be something like just be you yeah and that's you are the coolest version of yourself yeah yeah you're naturally, yeah, you're naturally cool. You don't even think about it. Do you feel cool. that because that's on the cover now, you feel a bit more sacred wearing it? Do you feel like I never like, wear it. Do you feel like you can't stand against like a nice grey backdrop now with that jumper on in case you feel like people might be like, oh, is that the blue author? And it's from a store called In God We Trust, which is in Brooklyn. That's a very cool store, actually. They've got yeah. some great stuff. I love this. Another acne piece. Oh, this is my favourite acne leather jacket. And How long I, have you had it? I've had it for about two and a half years, I'd say. Mm. But um, it's worn well. Yeah. You're like, I've worn it twice. No. Okay. <laughs> I wear it a lot. People always say that, but I do take really good care of my clothes. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just. It's nice though, because I think I'm quite bad at looking after clothes. I just kind of bung them. Especially my wardrobe's quite full. I kind of stuff things and have to go in with them. Yeah. But it's nice when you can move things about because they last longer. They do. Which is so important. I'm a bit precious with this jacket. Um, and I like it because it's a leather jacket, but it's a nice light color. So yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, it has the biker feel, but it's not as like biker as a black leather jacket. Yeah. It's a bit more. I think it's quite summery. Like, yeah. It's a nice kind of summery jacket. And I love. Yeah. I love this. I love what's happened here. Did you tie this? Yeah. I was like, that looks like a cool way of... Yeah, well, it's always freaking hanging and dangling around. I mean, it's because you're a cool, badass like a babe. You're that, like, I just tie up these things. Like, <laughs> that does make me look like I'm a cool, carefree person, but there was... You spent ages, yeah. like, trying to pull <laughs> yeah. that through. That is such a gorgeous jacket. And I want to say another thing. Um, with leather jackets, I always prefer them to be a little oversized. I was going to say, this yeah. is, it looks quite chunky, but yeah. like, I like the fact that it's a bit boxy. Yes. yes. Because if they're tight, I just I don't like that look so much. Yeah, I like a boxy jacket. Yes. This is very cool. What do you style it with? Anything, honestly. You just, just jeans, t-shirt, I've worn it with dresses. Oh, oh that's cute. Yeah. yeah, that's really cute. I can't imagine it looking bad with anything too fair. It doesn't. Are there any other pieces you would save in a fire, or is that's it? Yeah, because I work from home, I live in loungewear. Yeah. Like, I have a lot of clothes, but honestly, most days, I'm wearing pajamas. Yeah. That's the that's the truth of it. Yeah, I think that's just that I feel a lot of people are working from home when I was talking to Emma about this. It's just like, 
like this is all together and then it just all goes south. Yeah. It just all goes Like it's very rare for me to actually put an outfit together. Yeah. Do you find it harder because you work from home when yes. you are getting dressed to I go out? I have no and idea the world. Wear. How do you get inspired for things like that? Who inspires you? Where do you get your style inspiration from? I mean, I do look at Instagram, but I just feel like a lot of the girls, they look great, but it's not me, you yeah. know? And I just, like, I love Brittany Bathgate. Oh. Do you know her? Do I know her? Oh. I mean. You have to do her. Oh, she said, this is the thing. I'm just like, whenever I look, I'm like, what would Brittany wear? Yeah. I'm just like. She's super cool. But even, like, her style, that's not me. Like, yeah. I want it to be me. You can take elements of it, though. Yeah. And you can. You can like, take elements. Aslan, my boyfriend, loves Brittany Bathgate. Like, he. Brittany. Yeah, he, and I told Brittany, him that. Brittany, I love you. <laughs> Honestly, he's like, well, what would Britney Bathgate wear? And he says that. I'm yeah. like, look, I'm not fucking Britney Bathgate. <laughs> Sorry. We'll check her out, okay? She's amazing. She's so cool. We love, we love you, Britney. Um, but yeah, like, so, yeah, you're so right. Like, take elements yeah. of it. I also like to do personal shopping. Ooh. So everyone thinks this is like something that only celebrities can do. It's such a good idea, though. Yeah, but a lot of places do it for free. And yeah. you don't have to spend a certain amount of money. And actually, I started, the first time I did it was at Topshop. Yeah, that personal shopping is fantastic. It, if you've never heard of it, like, it's a life-changing thing, even to go once, and, like, they just teach you how to put stuff together. I haven't done it in a while, but I I think that. it helps you, like, bring out things you wouldn't have picked out either. Like, like when I go to Topshop, I know there's things, I'll go to the blouses, I'll look at the tea yeah. dresses, and then... Something like that actually makes me think, oh, I could be a, I could be a bit braver, yeah. and then th they always look cool. It's the way someone else sees you. Yeah, which is so useful sometimes, yeah. because I think you have this image of yourself, and sometimes it's really hard to shape that, and be like, actually, I could pull this off. I could totally pull this off. Yeah. So yeah. Ooh, I might have to do that. I've not done that. Oh my god. I know a lot of people that do, but I've never done it myself. I took my mom, actually, and I think she's a bit nervous, because, I mean, it's, it is kind of nerve wracking It's quite intimidating. But, yeah. like... They just say like what what's your style like is comfort key like what do you do yeah. in your daily life and then they just kind of go from there and it is Very honestly cool. you leave I left the first time I went I left feeling a sense of confidence I've never had oh yeah ooh, top tip it's so good top tip yeah bing, 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 bing. let's talk about your favorite brands because you have got a good style where how how can I replicate this <laughs> so my favorite brand is Aritzia like oh yeah always. Always in Aritzia. If you ever look at my Instagram, everything is tagged Aritzia. Oh, so that's a store that's... This is, this this is all Aritzia. I mean, I like it because it's a store in North America and I think they have a few I brands. saw one in New York actually when I was there and I was like, yeah. oh, I've heard about you. But it's a Canadian brand, so I love I love them. Like, I, I, I mean, they're just cool. I mean, yeah. their style, a lot of their fabrics made in Japan and it is like a bit pricier, but I have things in my wardrobe that I bought when I was like 18 at Aritzia. Wow. So they've yeah. got the longevity. It's the longevity and it's the classic style. Yeah. Like when I'm going through my wardrobe like this, I just wouldn't want to get rid of it. I don't yeah. know. Like, it's nice. It's like almost slightly trend led, but it's not governed by the trend. Exactly. Like, there's a nod to things that are cool, like shit, whether it's a shade yeah. or shape, but yeah. it's not like something you think next season I'm going to be like, oh. right. And it's all very like neutral colors. So I love Aritzia. I mean, I love acne, obviously. I like, um, god, where else do I shop? I shop at ASOS a lot. Yeah, I think ASOS is everyone's, like, ultimate yeah. guilty pleasure. It's just, they've got everything. They have everything. And what else do I like? I don't know. Oh, I love Mango. Mango at the moment. I've lived in the UK for a long time, yeah. and I just freaking discovered Mango. No, but to be honest, they had one in my high street near where I live for the first, like, years. It went, and I was like, oh, Mango's gone. Now I'm like, where are you going? Where did you go? Like, honestly, the stuff. I say it's a cooler Zara. Yeah, it's, I, I used to think that, I, I've said this in another video and I am wrong, I thought they were like related, but they're not. But yeah, Mango have got some amazing things. I the love shoes it. are very comfortable. I bought a pair of like mustardy suede loafers yeah. recently and kind of like the Louis ones, but they're obviously yeah. cheaper. When I run into people whose style I love, I'm like, what are you wearing? They're like, oh, this is Zara, this is whatever. Yeah. It's like, I just, how you put it together. It's how you put it together. There's so many girls, especially with Mango, I think they work with quite a few bloggers, and you see girls who are so effing cool putting together pieces yeah. that, hey, I can afford that. Yeah. And that's what it's about. And I think it's about inter how you interpret something. Like, you don't need to get head to toe look and spend like a month's rent on it. No. Like, you can do things. Yeah. And it's, it is, I think, it's just about opening your eyes a bit more. Like, I really want to do a vintage shopping trip soon because yeah. I've not done that in ages. And it's things like that. I'm like, I remember, like, I got a basket bag a few few years ago from Beyond Retro. 
and now I'm seeing them everywhere. Yeah. And I'm just like, well, I paid like 14 quid for that. Yeah. And people are like, where's it from? Is it like this brand? And I'm just like, no, it's, don't know who had it. Like, it's yeah. just, but. And I miss that chase. Yeah. The kind um, of not everything being readily yeah. available. The kind of like, we are spoiled. We're very spoiled totally. shopping. And especially when it's all online. Like, yeah. I know that, that makes you sound about 80. Like, it's all online nowadays, but. I don't know, it's, it's nice to just go and like, there's a bag that I have wanted for a while and I'm really, I'm like, I'm not getting it because I, I need to that think about one. this. The, um, the, the YSL one. Yeah, the YSL yeah. one. And I love it, but I'm just like, it's the build up to it. If you could just, if you just buy things, you kind of, they become a bit more disposable because yeah. you think I've not had to wait or that excitement. And that's what I love about clothes. I love I the kind of, the pondering and then the like, the moment where you get something and go to yeah. the store and you're like, and it means something. Yeah, the yeah. sentiment. You lose the sentiment. I think now with like fast shopping, I think you just buy things and you can buy them in like hauls and then you don't necessarily appreciate. Mm. Speaking of vintage <laughs> items, oh, this is oh, this is a treasure. I mean, when I was in Japan, I don't know if you know oh, really? that I went there. <laughs> Speaking of like making memories and like finding yeah. a special piece, I went into this one store and it was like up a flight of stairs. Hello, <laughs> up a flight of stairs, and it was just you know it was memorable because we had to kind of go kind of out of our, out of our way to yeah. see it. And it was like a designer vintage store. Oh, ooft. Yeah, in Japan. In Japan, and hubba, hubba. as soon as I saw this coat. I didn't know who the designer was. I just looked at it. I just loved it for some reason. And I tried it on. It just fit like a glove. Like it just fit so perfectly. And even Aslan was like, I love it. Anyway, it's a vintage Yoji Yamamoto coat. Ooh. And, and um, the color. The color was the first thing I saw. And yeah. I was like, that is so beautiful. It is just like, it's kind of like a trench coat, but. No, I was gonna say it's kind of got the but it looks like you could it's always sort of like kimono y yeah. kind of shape and the sleeves are a little bit flared. I love it. It's so beautiful. The lining, you can just see with like the attention to mm. detail on it. I love it. You just don't make it like the city. They don't, they don't. So I just that is so beautiful. Oh, and I just wanna say at the back also there's like Ooh. a there's like a fleet here. I don't know, oh, wow. I just it's special to me. I like it. They're the pieces that are important, I think, in the wardrobe. They really bind everything together. And the confidence when you wear it. Oh my god, especially when you find something that fits perfectly as well as well, vintage. That is just like, it's rare. It, oh, but the feeling. <laughs> well, I also just remember I, we didn't answer this. This was also one of my staple pieces. It's a, my favorite sunglasses. Yeah, where are they from? Celine. Where are they from? Celine do the best glasses. Yeah. They're and very cool. They're dirty, but they're just a simple. They don't say anything. These yeah, glasses. they're just nice glasses. Yeah. They just go with everything. So, last question. Yes, this has flown by. I've enjoyed this very much. But the last question I'm going to ask you is Desert Island Beauty Picks. I know this is quite hard because there is a lot of great. You, you're a beauty expert. Yeah. I love beauty. You say so yourself. And, no. <laughs> Why? Is I that, don't know. I'm joking. I'm actually not a beauty expert. I just to love me, you are. Number one, Desert Island Perfume. <laughs> <laughs> to smell green amongst the waves. It's got to be Molecule One. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Eccentric Molecule Molecule 1. Do you have this? Do you wear I do. It? I've got yeah. the mini one. Yeah. So it's it's the kind of perfume that you want to make love to yourself in a treehouse, in a forest. Oh, wow, that is... That's what it is. And actually... Like QVC, isn't it? <laughs> I was actually... Um, I was on set the other day and this guy was doing my hair. And I was like, oh, you smell good. He's like, oh, thanks. I was like, what are you wearing? I was like, wait, I already, I don't know what I'm asking. It's yeah. Molecule One. He's like, it is. Like, how do you know that? I was like, because I want to have sex with you right now. That is what I make out to myself. <laughs> I love this pie eye cream. Pie eye cream. Um, it's just good. I have very uh, sensitive eye area. And this is really good. And my mom, I don't know, she probably won't care about this, but my mom has itchy eyelid problems. Oh, Kelly. I know. <laughs> but it's like a stress thing, and it's very common, and I think this helped her a lot. Yeah. This face mask, oh god, the Fresh Rose face mask. Oh, it, that is a bloody lovely face mask. Oh, I just love the rose so much. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. Oh, mm. quite a dent in that. Mm, girl, I you using it, girl, I you using it up. Uh, and so lovely. This, I have to mention, is the Amora Beatsa Thermal Cleansing Balm. Mm. Have you tried it? No, she's got such a thorough desert island routine. I know. I'm so impressed. Oh, you might hate the smell, smell of that. No, I don't actually. Uh, I love it. Some people are like repulsed by it, but... It's kind of like, it's a bit like, what does it smell like? 
I can't, I can't put my finger I on can't it. either, and if you figure it out, let me know, because it's like four years of me trying to figure it oh out. Oh my god, I'm going to do a Google when I get home. No. Mm, and then, like this is kind of a new thing, so I don't know if it's like Desert Island, but I think it's... It seems to pack a lot in, in one yeah. bracket, which I think is useful. Uh, it's the RMS Beauty Signature Set. So it's got like a highlight, I'm assuming a contour I guess you could do it on your eyelids, and so I could just... Okay, well you could oh, you your cheek. This is why I'm not the beauty expert here. This is why we ask you. You could use this for, I think, blush and lips. Yeah. And then I think this is just a regular balm. Which is good, because you'll probably be dry. But there's no mirror in here. So you'd have to improvise. I think that's a bit of a piss off. When I opened this, I was like, mm. But if you're on a desert island, then... Um, can I say, I want to give another shout out to an Instagram account. It's called Gel Cream. Yes, I have seen this. Yeah, it well, she was it you that showed it. It was. Oh, Nobody's nice. giving me the credit for discovering this lady, but whatever. Yeah, it's very cool. It is so, she is so cool. Is everything just like short, really simple, yeah. but beautiful. And she knows beauty, and she basically picks like the beauty products that are like, you know, the best. The, the, Not the best, beauty. like most expensive, just best is in best. Yeah. And She's very cool. Yeah. I think that's a wrap. That's a wrap. And that's a wrap. So thank you so much for watching this and thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me. In your me. home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for tolerating me. Get out. Okay. okay. Oh, wait, can I say another thing? Yeah, of course you can. We're also going to do a Q&A on my channel. If you want to check it out, I'm asking Liv questions. Ugh. I don't know if you know this, but Liv has a lot to say. <laughs> I've got a lot of feels. <laughs> so yeah, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, do all of that stuff, all that important stuff. And yeah, I will see you next week. Thanks very much. Bye. Bye. Such a style icon. So scandy. So chic. <laughs> These actually are from Monkey. Oh, so you're you're actually being scandy and chic. Yeah.